What's up guys, this is Chris with BenonBaseballCards.com again. <coughs> uh, I know this box looks kind of generic, but most people will know what this is. This is, uh, I don't believe this is made anymore. I don't, I don't believe they do these anymore because of the way the hobby is. This is a uh, vending box. Uh, I believe, I've seen 1992 vending boxes, but I don't know if they have any after that. that, that that's, I didn't say that they, they don't, I just said I don't know. But I doubt it. 93 would have been the last year. I already have one uh, that I started in here. I absolutely had the most difficult time trying to get these out of here because they are packed in so tight. If you put this up on end here, you still can't get any any moo, any uh, space in there to be able to get your finger in there to get them out and you can see the cards are starting to bend in the corner because they're packed in there so tight. These uh, these this partic these particular vending boxes are very very hard to come by. This is 1985 tops and the reason that that is important being vending boxes uh, the key, there's three key cards that most of the greedy people out there would consider the only three key cards in the set are Mark McGuire's Olympic rookie card, Roger Clemens rookie card, and Kirby Puckett rookie card. Those are the only double digit dollars booked book value cards. Everything else is below the double digit. Obviously your common uh, good Hall of Fame players are going to be the sought after players in this box, but those are the three that people are going to be looking for and then they try to get them graded out of vending boxes like this because there's a real good shot of getting them in mint condition or the closest to mint condition possible. Now you saw I just opened the front lip of that because I was having so much difficulty getting them out of the ends. If you can't, if you have even the, the smallest remote struggle getting them out of the boxes, just tear the box open on the front. Open the front two flaps and then you can easily reach in here, pull the stack out, and if anybody watched my video for the 1984 Tops uh, vending box break, you and if you haven't, go ahead and do it if you want to. If not, don't worry about it. Um, that one was actually short, uh, about 23 cards or something like that, whatever it was, I can't remember, but uh, I was a little disappointed in that, but because it was short, I was able to open I was able to get the cards out relatively easily. It wasn't as tight as this one. These came from uh, very respected card dealers. David Adams Card World. Uh, I usually get my older card stuff from them because the blowout doesn't usually carry too much of the older stuff. They don't like sitting. Um, they don't like sitting on the product. Uh, they'd rather try to move it, and the older stuff doesn't sell as fast as the newer stuff, obviously, and there's a huge profit margin in the newer stuff. All right. Like I said, 1985 tops. The three key cards were McGuire, Clemens, and Puckett, all rookie cards. There's several other rookie cards, but those are the ones in double digits. As I explained in the 1984 video, the uh, cards on the ends, there's a good chance the cards on the ends are going to get dinged and bent because they're on the ends. This one happens to be Rene Latchman, Jerry Naren, Brian Dayette, or Dayette, and I'd say that's probably about Omar Moreno. I'd say the, the end four cards would be about the only ones you'd have to worry about, and then it starts to move into the back hinge of the box and the front corners of the box where this flap folds over and it rubs on all those cards as it goes down and gets tucked in. Those would be the cards that are in question now. I see the fifth card in the box is the Wade Boggs. Not cut perfectly. You can see there's not as much space down here on the bottom of this Boggs as there is on the top. So it's it's off center top to bottom. It looks like it may be 55-45 for the sides, but that's acceptable as long as one other side as long as one side's 50-50, you can have uh, the other side 55-45 and still get a perfect 10 uh, for a grade. But that box is obviously beyond that because both sides are off by the slightest amount, or the one side by the slightest amount. Bob Horner, John Lowenstein, Rod Dedeau, the 84 USA baseball team, 
which is this is what the Maguire card rookie card will look like. It'll have that that header at the top of the card, and he'll be in a USA uniform. A lot of people have seen it. Tony Gwynn All Star cut cut pretty badly left to right. There's a huge chunk over here, but that card actually books at a dollar because Tony Gwynn was that well respected. Man, these cards are cut really badly. Actually, I, I'm very disappointed in in the cutting on this. Larry Milborn, Fred Lynn. Still to this day, the only player to have. Let me refocus this while I'm talking about it. Fred Lynn, still the only player to this day to have a Grand Slam in the All Star game. Bo Diaz or Bo Diaz, Mark Hill, Gary Carter All Star, Jerry Hairston. I believe that's Jerry Hairston Sr. As we know, Jerry Hairston Jr. plays today. Oh, look at that. Checklists. Beautiful. And the this the trademark green and red uh, was for 1985. I mean, there may have been some other ones. Uh, other card years that had those color combos, but they were quite a bit quite a bit of separation between them and the uh, the 85s. Johnny LaMaster, Dave Engel, Don Mattingly. It's not cut perfectly, but it is Don Mattingly's second year card. His rookie card was 1984 tops, which many people have seen before, because the picture of it's posted everywhere. I've checked online just randomly, and there's people that have that scan. Because I think that I think tops used that for a, an advertisement card when that set actually came out. Henry Cotto and Eric Davis are in the handful that I have. Let's break out a few more. And it is possible to get duplicates in vending boxes. It's not likely, but it is possible. Uh, I shouldn't even say it's not likely, because I know it is likely. It's Obviously, they're all put together with machines, so machines don't know the difference between one card to the next. Tom Nieto or Neto, Dan Petrie, Mike Stenhouse, Steve Comer, Ricky Henderson, All-Star. Cut side to side a little bit off. Look, the checklist is almost perfectly cut. How about that? I might get a penny out of it. Rusty Staub, Storm Davis, also cut pretty well. Russ Mullenix, or Rance Mullenix, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said Russ. Harold Baines, legendary Chicago player. Joe Carter, 1985. Not cut perfectly, but it's decent. Burt Blylevin, I believe, just got... Was it him that just got thrown into the Hall of Fame this past year, 2011 here? I don't remember. Carney Lansford. Milt Wilcox, Damaso Garcia, Luis Salazar, Vern Rule, Dan Spilner, Bill Russell, Bobby Gritch, or Bob Gritch, I'm so used to calling him Bobby Gritch, but it, the card says Bob Gritch, Gary Reedus, Ken Griffey Sr., Checklist, Tom Nedenfuer, yeah. Rich Gedman, Chet Lemon, Bob Watson, Greg Minton, Dale Murphy All-Star, Jerry Don Gleaton, who was a Tiger at one point later on in his career, Rick Ruthven, or Ruthven, and Bob Boone. Uh, that was a somewhat of a, uh, a well-known name there because of the Boone family playing three generations in baseball, Major League Baseball. Aaron Boone, would I believe, was the most recent uh, of the three Boones. That's a pretty easy one. Now, one other huge benefit of getting vending boxes over wax boxes, uh, most likely they'll be cheaper because you get 500 cards in the vending box. Uh, but something very important is you don't have to worry about wax from the back of the packs, and you don't have to worry about bubblegum or the sugar from the bubblegum scratching up all your cards or putting indentations in the cards. You don't have to worry about these things. 1985, 95, 05 to 11. So 26 years these cards. These cards are 26 years old. And I'm pulling them out of here in near, I mean, almost perfect condition, except for the fact that they're cut horribly. I'm quite disappointed in that, but I'll go through them myself and I'll determine which ones are good, which ones aren't. But that is a huge, huge plus for vending boxes, is there's no gum and no wax from the back of the packs. 
Steve Henderson, Keith Atherton, Ron Reed, Lee Mazzilli, Alfredo Griffin, Gary Templeton, Dave Concepcion, Pete Rose, first base manager card, with a nice big ding in the center of it. How about that? It's just a flaw in the card stock is all. It's a dimple. You might be able to see it in the light reflection. It's right there on his shoulder. I don't know that you're actually going to be able to see it. Where's my light? Yep, there you can see it right there. Nice big dimple right in the center of the card, but it's just a flaw in the, in the card stock is all. It may have gotten struck with something, but usually when something gets struck, you can feel the dimple on the other side, but you can't. It feels more like a flaw in the card stock to me. So that one will get eliminated. George Brett, All-Star. Oh, here, let's refocus that. Yeah, George Brett, All-Star. Andre David, Brian Clark, Kirby Puckett rookie card. It's not cut badly. It looks like it's 50-50 side to side, and then it looks like it's maybe 65-35. Oh, bottom to top, 65 being the bottom. Um, it may even go for 60-40, uh, but I can't, I can't imagine it's anything better than that. There's one of the big cards that we were... The, the hit cards is what we can call it. There's one of the hit cards. We got one. Kirby Puckett rookie card. Jeff Kunkel, very blurry photo. Steve Crawford. Bill Schur. Atlee Hammaker. Oh, of course, the light is going to reflect off of these perfectly now. Let's see if I can lower this light a little. Atlee Hammaker. Rafael Ramirez, Dave Smith, Bob James, Dan Quisenberry, Lance Parrish All-Star, Greg Harris, Gary Matthews, Tom Herr, Mike Ramsey, Marty Barrett, Glenn Hoffman, Dusty Baker, yes, that's the current manager, whoever, whatever team he's managing for. <coughs> Might be the Rockies, I don't know. He bounces around quite a bit. Tim Flannery, Ron Hodges, Terry Pohl, Greg Walker, Herman Rivera, that's actually, that's his rookie card as well, but uh, I nor most people watching this won't know who Herman Rivera is. I guess it could be German Rivera as well, but that's pretty rare that it's actually it's pronounced the way it's spelled. Roy Howell, I, I, as you can see, another checklist. Roy Howell, Frank Viola, Mike Kruko, Rick Langford. Bob Nepper, Joe Nolan, Ed Romero, Milt May, Dickie Thon. It says on the back here, I just happened to glance at it, it says his grandfather Fred Thon pitched in the minors. If his grandfather had made it to the majors, that would have made the Thon family a three-generation family because Dickie obviously played for a long time. And Dickie Joe Thon, I believe is, I believe I looked at uh, my 2011 Platinum cards, one of the prospect cards was Dickie Jothon, and I believe that it said on the back of it that it was indeed his son, and I believe I checked that actually, and it's because I recognize the name Dickie Thon. John Montefusco, Odell Jones, Joe Beckwith, George Vukovic, Keith Moreland, Bill Gullickson, John Rabb, Benny DiStefano, Toby, Her Toby Hera, Chuck Porter, Wayne Tolleson, Jim Rice, Pascual Perez, Mike Moore. Tilt those a little bit so they don't fall over anymore. Jerry Dibiz Dibiz Dibzinski, that's it, Jerry Dibzinski. Todd Cruz, Ernie Witt, Daryl Sconiers, Billy Swift, USA card, Juan Samuel, Phillies, stolen bases record breaker, card number eight, Pete Ladd, the record breakers are the first cards in the set, at least they were for a, quite a few years in, uh, in the 80s, and actually, 
actually they did 1990 was as well they had uh, the Nolan Ryan special cards at the beginning but a lot of years they did something special for the first few of them I remember 86 was the Pete Rose special cards Brad Kaminsk Broderick Perkins Willie Upshaw Larry Gura Jim Morrison Bob Alchinko Dwayne Kuyper Jerry Mumphrey Carlton Fisk there's a familiar name Eric Shaw. Corey Snyder, all USA team, I was going to say All-Star. Chris Spear, or Spire, Johnny Grubb, Mike Davis, Daryl Brown, Paul Mirabella, Rusty Kuntz, Dale Murray, Andy Hawkins, Omar Moreno, Dennis Lamp, Bill Doran, Dave Kingman. I believe we've seen Kingman's card already, so we may have seen our first double. Johnny Walkenfuss, Buddy Bian Kalana, Jackie Gutierrez, Gerald Perry, Dave Collins, Howard Johnson when he played for the Tigers. And I'm guessing this photo was from 1984 and he was on the 1984 Tigers World Series team. But that was before he became the Howard Johnson of the Mets. That's when he uh, really put himself on the map. Refocus again. Just because it's bugging me. John Hoover, USA. Tim Belcher, 1983 number one draft pick. Jay Howell. Onyx Concepcion. Checklist. Nick Asaske. Asaski. Okay, I guess it could be Esaski, but I always pronounce it Asaski. Bruce Hurst, Ozzy Virgil. Mike Doon, USA. Alan Bannister. Tony Phillips. Buddy Bell. Doug Sisk. Pete O'Brien, Bob Baylor, Roy Smith, Champ Summers, Mike Moore, number one draft pick. He ended up playing for the Tigers as well. Greg Brock, Cal Ripken. I believe this card is booked at 250, but in its current condition, it's cut probably 70, 30, top to bottom. You can see clearly that it's it's not even. Uh, side to side, probably 55, 45, but. That's another one of the bigger names that people would be looking for. Dave Rigetti, Dave Steeb, Ernie Camacho, Ozzy Smith All-Star, Rick Camp, and Jim Clancy. I passed up Ozzy Smith's All-Star card because All-Star cards are usually valued. All-Star and other special type cards that are that give the player a second or third or fourth card per set, those cards are usually looked at as lesser value. They're usually around half as much as the regular base card is. Phil Garner. Bruce Berenyi, Joey McLaughlin, Dwight Gooden, Record Breaker. Now this, um, for some reason, this card books at 60 cents when the common player cards book at 15, roughly. Uh, and I couldn't figure out why until I scrolled down later in the set and found out that, that the 1985 Topps card is Dwight Gooden's rookie card. So this is also a rookie card of his, but it's not officially classified as a rookie card because it's a second card for the set. It's not his base card. I think his rookie card was booked at two bucks. Doug Bear. Father and son, Dickie Schofield and Dick Schofield Sr. and Dick Schofield Jr. Al Holland. Bob Nepper. Kurt Wilkerson. Willie Akins. Julio Solano. Ray Boone and Bob Boone. I was right about having Aaron Boone as the third generation. I couldn't remember uh, the, the father, the grandfather in that trio. It was Ray Boone. And that's disappointing because he was a Tiger. So that's disappointing I didn't know that. I have a Ray Boone 1956 tops, I think, that I got from the million card crap giveaway thing. Whatever you want to call it now. Diamond guard crap giveaway. Steve Sachs, Larry Parrish, Tony Perez, Jack Clark, Odeby McDowell, Bruce Bochy. I do believe that that is the Bruce Bochy that is the San Francisco Giants manager today. You, you guys might want to check on that spelling there because I know you can. I know you can see the spelling without my hand in the way. It's right in the center of the screen there, Bochy. But I believe I may be wrong about that. Ed Hodge. Benny Ayala, John Denny, Bobby Ojeda, Bob
Bob Ojeda is what the card says, but I know him as Bobby Ojeda. Dave Winfield, Juan Samuel, Frank Viola All-Star, Gus Bell and Buddy Bell, Father Son, Bill Dolly, Tony Gwynn, base card, regular base card, books at 250 when it doesn't have uh, a crease in the center of it, so <laughs> that's a huge fail. But I'll tell you why that may not matter later. Ray Burris, Alejandro Pena, Gary Ronicky, Willie Wilson, Tom Tellman, Randy Johnson, not the big unit Randy Johnson either. Steve Bedrosian, David Green, Ray Knight. I'll get this stack over here out of the way now because it's put these things over here. We'll set this up like a normal pack box that I do. Bob Lillis, Len Whitehouse, Tom Hume, Barbaro Garby, Barbaro Garby, Al Collins, Jim Dwyer, Jeff Cornell. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the meaning of off center. That is insane cut off. That is terrible. Uh, card number six was the one that it was next to. I don't even, I'm not even able to tell if this is card number 14 or if there was another number in front of this 14, making it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7, 14. Uh, but this is a terrible, if I find card number 6, uh, I'll be able to put that together there and that's, that is insane right there, how, how badly cut off that is. Okay, my video is going to die out at some point here quickly and I'll just blend them together. Craig Lefertz. Reggie Jackson on the Angels. Alan Wiggins, Tom Seaver, Terry Kennedy. Not cut very well. Not printed very well. The cut looks good, but the printing looks like it was crooked, but I, I guess that could have gone either way. Don August, 91. Or, uh, 91. Don August, 84, Team USA. Pete Vukovic. Vukovic, Vukovic is uh, also cut badly, but not as bad as the Jeff Cornell. Frank Williams, Donnie Moore, Ron Davis, Mark Bruhard, Dennis Rasmussen. Rasmussen is also cut badly. You can see the top of another one there. Could be just about anything. So that's cut pretty badly. I don't believe it's the next card. Steve Yeager, Daryl Strawberry, 1985 tops. Not his rookie, though. Dan Gladden, Buck Martinez, Bob Brenly, Marvis Foley, Carlton Fisk Record Breaker, Leon Durham, Steve Carlton, Glenn Hubbard, Jamie Kokenauer, Dave Myers, cut pretty bad, badly, Johnny Ray and Tommy Dunbar. Scott Fletcher, Dan Billardello, Miguel Delon or Dion, Terry Francona, yes. Terry Francona, the current manager of the Boston Red Sox while he played for the Expos. Albert Hall, Bert Roberge, Roberge or Roberge, Houston Jimenez, Tug McGraw, Ned Yost, yes, the current manager for the Kansas City Royals who are currently playing my Tigers right now at this moment. But for some reason, MLB didn't want to, or uh, DirecTV didn't want to put the Fox Sports Detroit telecast of that game on. They put, for both channels, they put the uh, Royals telecast, so I'm not too thrilled about watching it. Because visiting telecasts, they usually get kind of harsh on the away team or the team that they're not for. Eddie Murray. We all know what kind of a, a thug switch he was. That guy was just dominant as a switch hitter. If he's not a Hall of Famer yet, he should be. I think he is. Willie Randolph, Len Barker, Wayne Krachinski, Tim Laudner, Phil Bradley, Alan Wiggins, Tom Seaver, Terry Kennedy. I'm going to go back here real quick. Phil Bradley. Uh, Harold Reynolds on MLB Network actually credited Phil Bradley um, with, uh, as far as batting, as far as hitting, with a huge amount of credit for changing his swing and he ended up 
just busting home runs left and right. I see there's only two years worth of stats on here, and one of those years he only played 23 games, so I'm not going to get a whole lot of stats, but he had zero home runs in, in both of those years. In the minors, he only had two and one. So three home runs total in the minors on the back of this card, but years and years down the road, he changed his swing and changed his approach to hitting, and he ended up bombing like 20 home runs out of nowhere, kind of like what Jose Bautista did in the recent years. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. I'll put this remaining stack Hey guys, it's Chris again. I, uh, <clears throat> instead of making some of the people out there just suffer through the rest of that vending box for 85 tops, I decided to go ahead and go through with the rest of myself, by myself, and the only other card I pulled of any significance was Roger Clemens' rookie card, which is blurry beyond belief. My battery's gonna die here. I'm just making this little video to add in to the other video, and I'll just cut some of the end off because I know it was pretty boring for everybody. There. Uh, I guess it looks actually pretty focused to you guys, and it may even look focused to, to the greeting card companies, but to me it looks like crap, so I'm not really thrilled with it. No McGuire, nothing like that. I'm going to go ahead and charge my battery, and the reason I said the doubles, or the reason I said uh, what I said before about not mattering was because I bought five vending boxes. Five. 1985 top spending boxes because there's 700 and some cards in the set. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what the number was. Could be 660, could be 792, but uh, there's a lot in the set, so I bought a lot of boxes because I'm probably never going to buy them again, especially uh, I'd estimate about half of the spending box, about half was cut off badly, so badly that I won't be able to sell them. So I'm going to have to go through with a fine tooth comb and pick out all the good ones and the rest of them are just going to go in the damage cards, non-sellable box, and I'll just use them for research or scanning or whatever I need to in case I don't ever get them again in good condition. All right, guys, I'll tack this on to the end of the other video, and I'll move into the other products that I bought. This one was kind of boring, so I'll move into something a little more exciting or maybe a little something a little newer. See you guys.